Welcome back, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I hope everything we've told you has been helpful before. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about the importance of water. I spoke to you in a previous video about the same, and we talked about the five essentials for life. Now we're going to kind of focus in on water. Did you know that 60% of your body's volume and weight is water? And why is it so important? Because it helps you carry red blood cells in the way of blood? Because it helps you to uh, excrete harmful byproducts of your metabolism? Because it keeps you from getting constipation? Absolutely every single one of these. But how much is enough? And is the standard 8x8 eight eight rule, which they've created in the past, 8 ounce glasses 8 times a day, enough? We're going to examine that today. The first thing is, how much water do you need? According to the National Institutes of Medicine, the appropriate amount is 3.7 liters for males and 2.7 liters for females. But if you look one step further, it can be much, much more than that. And the one interesting part about that is there are estimates that you need 11 and a half glasses for men and 10 and a half glasses for women. Now, the truth is, that's not how much you're going to drink, necessarily. In fact, part of that, 20%, might come from the food that you eat, which has some naturally occurring water in it. There are conditions under which you need even more water. The amount of water you drink, uh, and how do you know if you've drank enough? So there's a couple of ways. First is your thirst indicator. And the thirst indicator for most people is ac an accurate way of determining whether you've drank enough water. The problem with it is it often kicks in late in the game. And by that time, you might already be starting to have some of the uh, problems like headaches or um, malaise or weakness or other things from dehydration, which we'll talk about. Further, at the age of 65 and above, that thirst indicator stops working as well. So then what are other indicators? In the surgical suites and in the ICUs, we would look at urine output. And specifically in adults, it was a half cc per kilo per hour, or in kids, one cc per kilo per hour. And more importantly, also the color and consistency. It needed to be um, pale or light yellow, straw colored as we called it, and clear. And so I would say that's a more accurate way to see that you're hydrated. And the second part of that equation is it depends on what you're doing. If you're in a hot climate or a humid climate, or if you are working out, uh, or if you are sweating a lot, you need more water. Similarly, if you are with sickness where you have a high fever or you have nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, you're going to need more water because your insensible loss is going to be higher. Finally, in women who are breastfeeding, they can often need more water because part of the water is going into the breast milk. So these are conditions under, under which you need more. And the general indicator is your urine color and consistency. Now, does water help you with weight loss? In fact, there are some studies that show that if you drank water before your meals, it might actually help. Now, you would think, well, water doesn't really fill you up. It doesn't provide you nutrition. But in one such study, they found that subjects who drank uh, half a liter, 500 cc's, uh, before they ate their meals um, every day, 12 weeks, actually had a 44% increase in weight loss versus the comparable people who did not have the water. Secondly, water can actually increase the metabolism and thereby increase your calorie loss. So clearly water might be helpful with weight loss. The second thing is, what happens if you don't drink water? What are the signs and symptoms of dehydration? Well, certainly the ones we look for are dry mucous membranes, your mouth, your nose, your eyes, and your skin. Loss of turgor, which is when your skin that you pull up um, has plasticity and doesn't have any type of soft tissue because the water between the interstitial membranes is gone. Um, so these are the, some of the signs and symptoms clinicians look at when a patient comes in and we're worried that they're dehydrated. That concludes with what we're talking about. Let me just summarize it by saying that what they say about the eight glasses is not accurate. It really depends on what you're doing and what other life issues you have. The best way to figure that out is to drink regularly throughout the day and titrate it or uh, compare it to the urine output that you have and make sure that it's clear or pale colored and 
and um, coming uh, at regular intervals. And then finally, know the fact that it can help you lose weight, it can improve your exercising, and without it, you might actually feel worse. So the key is to drink enough, drink it often, and keep it in mind whenever you go through your day. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked what I uh, talked about, please hit the subscribe button and join me. If you want to see further episodes, hit the bell icon so every time we update, you'll get a notice. And finally, make sure you share this with all your friends because we're just trying to start a dialogue with everyone. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.